and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to discuss an old technique that I learned as a child um, that I don't think many people use anymore called dabbling. Um, it's done with a fiberglass pole, cane pole, um, short amount of line and a buzz bait so um, let's get to it um, first of all the buzz bait I'm going to use is a JSB Customs quarter ounce in gold blade, white skirt, white head, red eyes. Okay. The next thing I'm going to use is a BNM Black Widow. Uh, this is 10 foot um, fiberglass pole. Uh, you can buy them in. I think 10, 12, 14. So, um, and the line I'm going to use is fluorocarbon. Uh, actually, no, not fluorocarbon. Braid. I need braid, excuse me. Reaction tackle braid. Um, so, what we're going to do is just take this braided line and kind of flip this fiberglass pole over. So you got a little eyelet on that fiberglass pole. What we like to do here in South Georgia, what I like to do is I, I like to take this this line and wrap it a couple times right here. Or actually, you got to take it through the eye first. Even. Take it through the eye first. Kind of leader to breed. Um, and I slide it right back through that hole I created. Take it around one more time. Kind of sitting here in the dark, but. Pull that up. Kind of pull it up tight, almost like a you're tying a I wouldn't say leader to braid, but more like a snail. Like a snail uh, when you're doing your punching rigs and you do a snail knot. I don't have any electrical tape with me, but what I like to do is I like to take some bits of electrical tape and just kind of take this around. Let me let me step away from the video right quick and see if I got some electrical tape over here. But uh, I'll keep talking. So yeah, this this uh. This technique is a long past technique. Uh, I know a lot of older gentlemen growing up on the Ogeechee River down here. They used this technique for years down here for catching big bass. Um, but with the braid, you just kind of you kind of short line it. Um, there's not a whole lot of line. I would say probably. Because it's really a short technique. Mm, I would say probably about four foot, four foot of line, somewhere around there. Maybe shorter. 
but put it right there. So there's your there's your line connected. And then you take your buzz bait and tie onto your I guess you can probably use buzz baits, uh, choppos, whopper ploppers, anything that has a like a twist, but I like that buzz bait because it kind of gives it a little bit more beefier um, presentation in the water. But yeah, it's a, this is an old technique. If any of my South Georgia friends out there or Florida people or South Carolina, um, yeah, this is an old technique. I like to use braid because of the, you know, you get jackfish and bowfin to hit this stuff, or what we call mudfish. But yeah, that's it. Right there, short line, fiberglass pole, and a piece of braided line for about a, heck, I don't even know, about three foot. Three foot, so what you do is you just kick your trolling motor on maybe one or two, go with the current, and you just throw this thing out there and just take it along the bank and just that buzz bait just goes along the bank and, and um but yeah we'll uh we're gonna fish it saturday actually we got a little derby in one of the local rivers down here so we're gonna uh i'm gonna fish it saturday and uh show you i'll have my gopro going and all that kind of show you the ins and outs of it but yeah something i've always wanted to get back to is kind of my roots of fishing uh, what i grew up fishing on and kind of just I kind of call it dabbling but dabbling is more you know you really use a short line and you just dabble it like skip it across the water but with this if I have to I can shorten it down and go that route but yeah that might be fun to catch some fish on we'll see we will see yeah, it's just an old technique. Uh, getting back to my roots. Getting away from traditional stuff. Just like dabbling in old techniques, I guess you would say. Um, but yeah, just uh, make sure you like, you subscribe, you comment below. Um, if you've got an old technique that you... Uh, that you kind of go to or that you want to bring bring back something i think old school techniques need to be brought back we got too many we got too many techniques you know you got the texas rig shake your head you know all these japanese stuff's coming out now um, but yeah just bring back an old technique uh, just like the old Charlie Brewer slider worm. You can actually watch that video right up here. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll post it wherever it is, wherever it shows up on the video here. I'll leave the card up there. To, that's where you can get kind of Charlie Brewer slider worm. Kind of explains the uh, the ins and outs of it. But uh, thank you for watching. And uh, as always, if you're on the water, wear your PFD and fish on.